can rebuild it. We can make it larger. Expansion and improvement plan to LAS presented to the county yesterday. Clark County Department of Aviation hoping to add over two dozen gates in an expanded and improved Terminal 1. Mm -hmm. They're going to build it out to the north end of it as well. Uh, they're going to change the name of Terminal 3 to Terminal 2 because mm -hmm. there used to be a Terminal 2 towards the north end of Terminal 1. Mm -hmm. But now is a Terminal 3 and they're going to change that to the 2. Here's my question. I just want to know just on the twos alone. How much is it going to cost to change all the to two signs? The I, know, I know. Why just why didn't you do two yep. like, 10 years ago? Like yep. no, I don't think people are going to get confused. Uh, -uh. Right. you know, there's signage, mm -hmm. you know, so the twos over here now. Yeah. <laughs> like so uh, there, I just I pictured like there's big threes everywhere. Yep. How this is I'm telling you there's a number company in town making millions on this. Yeah. Uh, they're going to improve things there as well. You're going to improve the traffic around the airport because sometimes if you have to go from T1 to T3, which will then be T2, mm -hmm. um, it can get very confusing yeah. and convoluted. So they're going to add uh, more overpasses and just kind of make it a little bit easier to get around. The next step, they have to show it off to the airlines who are essentially the ones that are going to be paying the fees mm -hmm. that will pay for all of this, which means will be paying the fees to be paid for all yep. of this because we'll go in our ticket. Yep. Uh, and then if they give the blessing, then it moves forward. Meanwhile, the Las Vegas Spaceport, which is more of a concept that is yet to launch in the area of Pahrump, is looking for approval from the FAA to have horizontally launched sp space planes take off. Hmm. So uh, if you think space, you think rockets, they are uh, vertically launched. Right. These will take off of a runway, but they'll have the the boosters to get you up to space. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. The FAA has already approved the construction of the spaceport. So approving launching from it. It'll take longer, right? Because you're going straight up. You got to go like. Yeah, but I don't think you need as as much fuel. Like you can just, you, you don't have to like to lift everything on a deadlift. You just kind of like, I don't know, slowly. I, I'm not, I'm not an aerodynamics mm -hmm. guy. All I know is uh, if they approve the flight line to go over Mountain's Edge, like Harry Reid already does. Um, man, I'm never going to get some sleep because, mm -hmm. wow, planes everywhere. Uh, meanwhile, CCSD can't do math and finds himself in a massive financial uh, pit, leading to schools having to make drastic cuts and eliminating extra pay and more opportunities to earn for educators. In a letter to the district special education teacher, Leanne Silva said, quote, I'm learning quickly that as soon as one battle with CCSD leadership ends, there is another one right around the corner. I'm urging you to do something different and tell the truth this time. Wow. There are people who want to know where the heck the money is. Yeah. Like the, the state gave CCSD more money than ever mm -hmm. this past year. It's like, this is great. Awesome. We can fund all these raises. But then they forgot to put the 8% raise inside the budget. Where's the money? Right. Right. You ever watch Office Space? Yep. Someone's rounding like quarters of pennies or something. Yeah, because serious. It's unreal that we're in this issue right now. I thought that financially we we're going to be more than solvent. Uh, speaking of the district, it turns out that ousted CCSD board trustee Katie Williams actually moved from Nevada back in April. Wow. That's what an investigation found along with her enrolling her daughter in Nebraska schools in March. <laughs> oh, my God. So it could have been earlier than Almost April. six months, yeah. yeah. She uh, broke state law by continuing to serve while no longer uh, living in her district or the state, which may cause significant issues because she had voted on things that, like, she was the deciding vote. But she wasn't here, so, like, how legal were those votes at all? And also, like, dummy, you, she, she got her mail forwarded. Like, we can easily see mm -hmm. that. Oh, and, and the fact that she still fought it towards the end. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Ugh, unbelievable. Uh, the Michelle Fiore federal fraud case rolls on. Her daughter, Sheena, took the stand and repeatedly pled the fifth. Oh, wow. You know, you know what pleading the fifth is, right? Of course. It's like, I don't want to incriminate myself. I'd rather uh, not answer that because I feel like that might get me in trouble. Yep. Uh, which, by the way. Are you allowed as like a juror to hear that and say, oh, well, obviously guilty. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Pleading the fifth is almost like, it might be better to lie. But you're under <laughs> oath, I guess you could be, you know, but like, I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> to me, I hear that, I hear guilty. Whatever yeah. the case. Uh, Fiore accused of using money raised for a fallen police officer statue, along with the campaign and charity money to fund vacations and plastic surgery in her daughter's wedding. The defense continues their case today. The city of Henderson doing the right thing and fixing the incredibly leaky pipes that are underneath the Somerset Park subdivision, forcing uh, residents out was an option there. And the city was yep. like, if you don't fix it, we're going to make everyone evacuate. But the HOA couldn't afford it. So the city's coming in saying, we're going to, we've approved $600,000. Oh my God, that much. To, well, I mean, they have to take up all this concrete, mm -hmm. get everything kind of done. 
Uh, that's on the high end of what they think it's going to cost to replace this whole water system. Uh, residents of the neighborhood will then have tax liens placed on their homes. They'll have to pay back their portion of the 600000 I think it's a fair it's a fair response to everything. It needs to get done. I mean, if you saw how bad the leaks were, sink, a sinkhole opened up. It's yeah. that bad. So something needed to be done. And this is not good. Raiders star receiver Devontae Adams has, according to sources, told the team he'd like to be traded. Well, because there were um, there was a post on some social media um, page that said something about trading Devontae Adams and the coach liked it. Oh no. Yes. Is that what happened? Yes. Oh. So bro. then there was rumors they're gonna trade him, and then he's asked a bunch of times, what is what do you think? What do you feel? What he's like, it is what it is. I can only control what I can control. And yep. then he said, you know what? Yeah, just uh go ahead and and uh let's let me get traded. Wow, I man, Antonio Pierce I'm, shocking. I'm gonna be honest, uh dumb. He's top five receiver in the league, yeah, and always has been. Yeah, and you're gonna trade him for a second round draft pick, Antonio Pierce. What are you doing? Oh my! <laughs> like, I, thought, God. I thought Antonio Pierce was a smart decision. He seemed like he was made in the lab for the Raiders. No, that's uh, why I wore the Raiders shirt today because I probably won't wear it anymore. That's a dumb, <laughs> dumb, dumb decision. Wow, dumb decision. But you lost Amy, guys. Way to go! Yeah, so well, dumb. Want to become a Patriots fan? We suck right now too. <laughs> No, thank you. All right, <laughs> uh, Las Vegas Aces couldn't come back from a second corner that was uh, uh, second quarter was brutal, uh, and they just couldn't come back from it. New York Liberty win 88-84 in Game Two of the WNBA semifinals. Their backs against the wall, down 2-0. Best of five mm-hmm. series returning to Vegas for Game Three on Friday. They win. They continue in the series. They lose. And That's they're playing it. some golf. I know. That was sad. There were seven seconds left. They were down two. <sighs> it's, man. So sad. It's, it, I'm t- I, I, we knew this is going to be the tough one. We yep. knew it. Vegas Golden Knights, meanwhile, uh, they beat the Avs 6 1, but it was in a preseason match. So we only give one honk of the horn. That's it. There you go. That's all you get. They're going to be coming home for a preseason game against the Avs. That is tomorrow. Las Vegas weather. It is currently 80 degrees. <laughs> so gross. Wait, uh, today is October 2nd. <laughs> October 2nd, 80 degrees right now at 624. And it is a high of 102. Oh. Gross.